This next question is from Tim. Mm -hmm. He says, let's say you get very angry with a particular person. <laughs> let's say her name is Megan. I don't know a Megan. <laughs> you end up walking away from Megan and the situation and go into your bedroom and start smashing the pillow with your tennis racket. Mm -hmm. Is it helpful and loving to smash the pillow and yell, oh, F you, Megan, you <laughs> effing bitch. How could you do this to me? I mean... I'm connecting with the anger and yelling at the pillow and talking to it like it was Megan. <laughs> Let's assume by then Megan is many miles away and therefore cannot, yeah, <laughs> cannot hear or see this. Yeah. By doing this, am I still projecting anger at Megan? Yes, of course. And also you're not understanding your incomplete addiction. The only time you wouldn't be in complete addiction doing this is if Megan was your mother or some other woman from your childhood who, that, had really... who had harmed you in your childhood. Mm -hmm. If Megan is an adult and similar age to yourself, and I'm assuming that's what he's referring to here, <laughs> um, you know, then, then she isn't the cause of your, of your addictions. She's not the cause of your fears. She's not the cause of your grief. She's just a, a, an attracted event Attracted by your own soul, in fact, yeah. in order to help expose within you an emotion that's out of harmony with love. That's all she is. She's not the cause of it. Mm -hmm. and, and this is the trouble with this kind of rage. This kind of rage, which is an adult rage, is completely driven by the addiction not being met. Mm -hmm. so, so is it Tim? Tim, yeah. Tim, you have an addiction with Megan. I know you don't know Megan. <laughs> let's assume, let's replace Megan with the other woman you're really asking about. You have an addiction with her. You want her to meet certain demands that you have. Mm -hmm. You want her to do what you want her to do. And when she doesn't do what you want, you now get angry. And, and the anger is exposing the fact that you have addictions that you're not willing to face and feel. And you don't want to face your feel and feel your addictions because Underneath those addictions are a whole heap of fears that you don't want to face either. Mm -hmm. That's why you're getting angry. You're getting angry because the expectations and demands of your addictions are not being met, right? And these are all adult expectations and demands focused at an individual who's, who's not from, I, I feel fairly sure, is not from his childhood, but rather is a person who's in his life currently. And and a person with whom he'd probably like to have a relationship, I would say, and that person is not meeting his addictions. Yeah. So, so the real problem is you're, all of this anger is just addiction not being met and it's damaging. Mm -hmm. It's going to damage you. It damages her further if she feels it and it's going to definitely damage any potential relationship you might have with her and it also is out of harmony with love. Because love would demand that you actually have a look at the addiction that drives this anger and rage that you feel. Mm -hmm. so, so feel angry, that's okay. Feel the anger because you don't want to stop the feeling. But you need to understand that it's totally because of all of your addictions and false beliefs that you've got this anger. You want this woman to do something for you that she's unwilling to do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be responding in the same way that you currently are. So you're saying feel the anger, but... It's far more productive to feel the rage of not having your addictions met rather than feel the rage at the person. Yeah, when he goes and swears in his bedroom, he's not feeling the anger. Like he's acting out the, the expectation and demand mm -hmm. and, and he's blaming her mm -hmm. for it. He's mm -hmm. not feeling the anger. When you feel the anger, you don't blame the other person for it. No. Like he's blaming the other person for it. Yep. So, so this is not the feeling of anger. Yeah. This is an addiction not being met and he's just having a big rebellious tantrum about his addiction not being met. That's all that's happening here. Yep. That's not feeling anger. Feeling anger, you don't need to project it at a person because it's a feeling that you can feel inside of you of anger that's inside of you and you just need to feel that. Yeah. And you'll find when you truly feel that, you'll just feel the frustration, anger. You won't have it directed at anybody when you truly feel that kind of anger. Mm -hmm. You'll also get closer to what it's about, which is the addiction that you have, don't want, that you want meant, met, that is not met by the relationship. Mm -hmm. So what's the addiction? So Tim, you need to find what the addiction you have with the woman, 
that you want to yell and scream, or the man, if it's a man in, yeah. you know, that you want to yell and scream at. Yeah. Like, what's the addiction? What, what is she not doing that you expect her to do, right? That's where you need to start. And once you feel your way through that addiction, you'll feel a whole heap of fears. And for men in relationships with women, there's huge fears, you know, that most men have. They're afraid the woman will run off with another man. They're afraid the woman will run off with another man, uh, you know, from a sexual perspective. But also, you know, they'll run off with another man from a um, perspective of just wanting some security or some mm -hmm. kind of safety or some other thing that this man can uh, provide. There's all sorts of fears that you might have that you're denying and getting angry about. Yeah. Um, and those fears are driving your addiction to have a woman fully engaged with you all the time, fully connected with you all the time, fully, fully wanting you all the time and also listening to you all the time and all these other things that you're demanding of this woman, which, which is just demand. It's not a, re it's not a loving relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't love her. You're an addiction, codependent mm -hmm. addiction with her. And by the sounds, it's not very codependent. <laughs> She's not... That happy with <clears throat> if, she, if she well yeah and I think Tim is trying to make a hypothetical question about what what happens when we get angry and how do we yeah yeah can I also address this issue of asking hypothetical questions yeah hypothetical questions are not sincere no right they're not sincere ask sincere questions Tim this this is some these are things that have happened in your life be honest about it ask sincere questions. Yeah. The fact that you are already distancing yourself from your own life is an indication of how much you do not want to face the fact that these problems exist in your own mm -hmm. life. Ask a question that involves your own life and, and you know, that is, that is truthful rather than asking a question that you manufacture, right? Yeah. So it's very important as well. So we're discussing the expression of anger mm -hmm. in this question. Can I extend that question a little bit? Sure, sure. Uh, I know a lot of women have this idea that they're just angry at men or, yeah, that's probably the group of spirits who are asking me this to ask you this question right mm -hmm. at this moment, mm -hmm. uh, is about if they're just angry with men, how do they deal with that from what you're saying that they shouldn't, they shouldn't be just feeling angry with men? Well, they, well, they're in their addiction not being met. If they're just angry with men, it's because of an addiction. What's the addiction? They're afraid of, they're afraid of men and getting angry with men makes them feel powerful over mm -hmm. men, makes mm -hmm. them feel more secure and safe, makes mm -hmm. them feel better than men, makes them feel a lot of things that they don't actually feel if they're honest with themselves. So, so in this case, him getting angry with a woman does the same thing. Yeah. He's just getting angry with a woman, makes him feel better about himself, makes him feel like he's right, makes him feel like she's got the problem and not he, and so forth. It just makes him feel a whole heap of things, that none of which are true, right? Yeah. Because he actually has a whole heap of insecurities. Mm -hmm. and, and, and these are all fears. If you're unwilling to look at your fears and feel them, you will revert to this addictive uh, and damaging behaviour. That's the reality. What you need to do instead is feel the past. Feel what's happened in the past. Mm -hmm. And when I say what's happened in the past, most of the time it's what's happened in your childhood and formative years or what's happened through very painful events in your life. So, so, for example, if you were 15 or 20 or 25 and you were raped, obviously that's going to be a painful event. And there's certain fears that came up as a, a, from that painful event. And there must have been a predisposition inside of your soul of emotion that has come from your family for that event to have occurred. So in other words, your mother probably was afraid of being raped or might have been raped or abused. Mm -hmm. your, your father might have been a rapist or a child molester or a person who looks down upon women and doesn't really care very much for her or so forth. Or a man who basically feels that women need him mm -hmm. sexually in order to survive. And... Um, these are all emotions that came from your childhood. What you need to do instead of projecting them at the current relationship is to delve back into the past and see the causes of them. That is the only way to deal with why you're angry. You're not angry because of the event. You're angry because of past events. And now you feel justified in your anger and you feel your anger is powerful and you feel your anger is good and you feel your anger is more preferable than your fear and so forth. And that's why you revert to your anger. You revert to your anger because your addictions aren't getting met. Mm -hmm. 
it is far better to go back to the addiction and go, what addiction is not getting met? And, and each addiction covers a fear. So what's the fear that I have here? Mm-hmm. And, I, and a lot of times when we've been harmed, the fear is that we deserved it or, and, you know, you were told that we deserved it as a child, we got harmed further as an adult, we were told we deserved it then. And after a while we feel we deserve it, then we get rebellious against feeling that feeling. And then we go into these other, you know, rageful places, rebellion places, tantrum places. They aren't going to help us progress. To help us progress, what we need to do is go back to the causes of these particular problems. And that means going back to what you're terrified about and feeling your terror about it rather than reverting to rage. So this kind of adult anger is completely uh, purposeless, actually. It also harms other people, and therefore we become a participant in the harm of others, which degrades our soul condition. In other words, we get darker in our own soul as we project these kind of rages towards other people. And so you've spoken in the past about when you feel angry, go and punch a punching bag or mm-hmm. let it out. But in I'm some now way. talking about the kind of rage where you're connected with it, not the kind of rage where you're blaming someone else for it. Yeah, I, un- I understand. So I go outside and go, ah! you know, but uh, but uh, it's not at anybody. It's just a feeling of frustration inside yeah. of me that's built up to the point of rage, and then just I uh, just release it. Yeah. Then I feel, well, what am I frustrated about? Ah, oh, that's what it's about. I just wanted this to happen or I just want, there's my addiction. I just wanted this to happen or I wanted that to happen and it didn't happen. What, what is it about? Yeah. And now I can start to analyse, ah, oh, this is all about this emotion or that emotion. I ne- I'm not open to feeling it, obviously. I, so I can pray about developing a desire to be open to feeling that particular emotion or that particular fear that I'm trying to resist so that I don't get angry in the future. And once I work my way through that emotion and receive God's love about that situation, I won't get angry in the future from the same event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's proof that I've finished. That's proof that I've done the job of releasing the real cause of this problem. So when we keep on getting angry with the same person over and over again and keep on getting frustrated, it's not a lack of love in them that causes that. It's a lack of love in ourselves that causes that. Yeah. And that's what we need to focus on and address. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.